So my kids are middle schoolers, they're seventh and eighth graders, and they invited the fourth, fifth, and sixth graders in our community to come to this event and uh, learn more about robotics so that we could build a love of robotics in our community and hopefully get some of those kids to join our program in the next few years. It's easy to start on. I mean, I don't think these kids had had much experience whatsoever and they got through the course in 10 minutes. First get introduced to the XRP and become excited. Now they're on the first Tech Challenge team, actually getting to see that growth throughout the entire year of the kids themselves. And now they get to become leaders for the students using XRPs. That full cycle of things is huge. And having that accessibility of being able to get one robot per student so they can get those coding skills, they can get that problem solving, they can get that excitement. I think it's really what can create that essence of first for all students. It was cool how, you know, we were kind of CAD designing for the XRP, but then we could really be more free with our tools and the FTC robotics, so. I programmed with JavaScript during this season, and it really helped to have learned a little bit of Python with the XRPs beforehand. So it, everything wasn't just completely just unknown to me. You know, XRP is very, very interesting because it has this huge flexibility of how you can implement it in the classroom in whatever way that works for you. It can be a very, very small segment or it can be a very, very in-depth segment of teaching content, but you're still exposing all students to robots. I do really see this being a great opportunity to teach kids coding skills, to teach them some engineering skills, that STEM background. I just really feel like this is a really good, small, affordable robot that can be used in all classrooms very easily.